Welcome back. We are looking here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 4, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have pulled back quite a bit. We did rally, and then we gave most of those gains back. So we're trading at 4180 uh, nine at this current stage, technical indicators are slowly turning around. So the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is technically flat at this point, and so is the RSI. So if we were to fall from here, then the middle of the bullish band down here at 4,150 will most likely offer quite a lot of support. Break below that, we have the bottom of the bullish band down here at 4,079, and then the 50 moving average all the way down here at the 4,000. If we break above uh, these candlestick here, then we could head towards 4,250 and then probably in the long run all the way up towards 4,300. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones rallied up towards the top and then gave most of its gains back. So it is uh, far more bullish than uh, the other indices have been today. We can see that the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, the RSI is kind of bullish, and the MACD is still underneath the signal line, but it is rounding off and will most likely head towards the, the signal line in a few days if this can basically continues. So uh, 34,000 uh, is uh, where we are trading at this current stage, and uh, 35,000 will most likely be our long-term tar target as we are basically bouncing off the 20 exponential moving average at this point. Break below the 20, could open the door to the bottom of the bullish band at 33,450, give or take, and then the 50 moving average down here at the 32,953. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ is uh, has basically fallen today. It's down 0 0.70%, give or take. And uh, technical indicators for the NASDAQ are looking uh, fairly dreadful at this point. If the 20 exponential breaks, then we have the uh, bottom of the bullish band here at uh, 13,621. And uh, if that breaks, we could head all the way down to the 50 moving average down here at the 13,341. That it should also be a massive support as we are going to test this area, which was massive resistant in the past. We have basically broke out of this area and then could head towards that point before going higher. We're still in uptrends, and uh, at this current stage, we are we have been trending technically sideways. You can look at it as a square as well. So the highs and the very lows here. And technically, we haven't been doing anything the last few weeks. If we were to break down from here, then we'll go and test this area here. If we break above here, then we'll go to 14,500 and probably towards 15,000. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX uh, did fell, fell towards the bottom of the bullish band down at 15,091 and then rallied towards the middle of the bullish band and now is trading at 15,260. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that uh, the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is turning around quite aggressively, but still in bearish territory, and the RSI is bullish at this current stage. Break above the middle of the bullish band, opens the door to the to uh, 15,400 and beyond that. Break below here, when then we have the 50 moving average all the way down here at 40,745. So let's look at the UK 100 FTSE. As you can see, we did uh, rally to eventually and then gave most of those uh, gains back. And now we're trading at 6,971. Technical indicators for UK 100, uh, the MACD is uh, technically bearish. The stochastic is bullish. The CCI is uh, is still, still bullish a little bit. And the RSI is technically flat at this current stage. So... We need to uh, basically clear 7,000. If we do that, then we are going significantly higher, probably towards 7,500 and then towards 8,000. So this has not really recovered from this massive fall, but we have slowly trying to get back to the, the that point. But we, there's a long way towards the very highs. So 7,000, it's going to be where... where um, Probably buyers will come back in and 
minus 2 the upside. So let's look at the China 50. So as you can see, we did uh, we did fall all the way down towards uh, 16,977 and then rallied a little bit. We're still down. So technical indicators, they are all uh, basically turning around and becoming uh, very bearish. And so the MACD is still in bearish territory above the skin line, so it's still bullish. The stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the so is the RSI. So break below the middle of the bullish band could open the door to the to the 200 moving average, which has been major support in the past. Rally towards the 50, that will probably be as far as this will go. If we manage to rally above the 50, we'll head towards 18,000, 19,000, and then beyond that. But at this current stage, we are technically just trading in the same area. So we're just in the middle of things. The highs being around here, 17,666, and the very lows down here at 16,502. So, hope you find this helpful. You're with the support channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Ether, where you can follow our trades and even copy your trades. So, the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.